The Minnesota Fighting Vikings, again, actually getting some respect from the national media jabroni haircuts to quote a great coach who I really respect, even though he coached a garbage football team. What the hell's going on out here? Right. So Cynthia Freeland, uh, NFL Network analytics expert who has genuinely and generally just really hated the Vikings, just poo pooed on them. Uh, apparently, uh, Cynthia sees the Vikings as a potential top 10 offense in 2022. Love to see it, man. So going through the us us usual suspects, you got the Bills, ish. I got the Chargers, uh, Bengals. I bet the Chiefs will be on here. Uh, Bucks, Rams, Chiefs. There you go. The Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. Uh, uh, do, do they know that Devonta Adams, who's not as good as Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen, is not going to be there? Even though Adams is apparently a minor deity. Hey, good luck throwing to uh, the the corpse of Randall Cobb and Sammy Watkins. Fantastic, man. That's fantastic. Uh, Cowboys, whatever. The Saints? Hold on. Hold on. The, all right, so this uh, this ranking is foobard. Like, uh, first off, how are the Saints on here? Number two, how are the Saints above the Vikings? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Jameis, blah, blah, blah. Trevor Penning, great. Olave, like, that's your big move. Just get out of here. Yeah. Uh, the, the Saints offense and, and calling it fantastic it's like taking taco bell down to uh mexico it's like hey 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 have, have you tried the gordita crunch wrap actually they're, they're pretty good not, not gonna lie but saints come on come on all right so the vikings at 10 uh, so I, I didn't see the saints up there at nine so now i'm a little bit peeved but what can you do so here's a write-up well my favorite prognostications right now is that the vikings are going to the playoffs playoffs uh, i think the last nfc wildcard slot could come down to the vikings and saints boo Who's a, who uh, play London October 2nd. The fit of KOC style with Minnesota's personnel will have mask an offensive line that allowed second highest pressure rate last season, 33.6% per next-gen stats. But, hey, it's Kirk Cousins' fault. O'Connell will also make good use of Kirk Cousins' best traits, starting with downfield passing. The Vikings had a 133.8 pass rating on throws, 10-plus air yards in 2021. None of those throws came on third down. Check down. Uh, the best of any qualified quarterback since 2016, which seems seems significant, you know. Uh, his 138.6 pass rating on passes of 10 to 19 uh, air yards was the best since 2019. Uh, he And he even had the most passing touchdowns without an interception against the Blitz in the NGS era with 16. None of this is all that surprising, given the weapons at Cousins' disposal. Oh, so it's not even about Kirk Cousins. It's about his weapons, man. A star wild Justin Jefferson, uh, 1255 on targets, plus... Uh, Jesus, there's so many numbers and qualifiers. All right, so yeah, Jefferson, Thielen, and Dalvin are good. Uh, that's all. So, I it, it comes down to the offensive line. If they can suture things up in terms of pass protection, and it mainly is into your offensive line. O'Neal and Darisaw, they're going to be ready to rock and roll. So, Ezra at left guard, Bradbury at center. Whoever starts a right guard, if they can protect Kirk Cousins' ass, and if O'Connell can get the ball out of Kirk Cousins' uh, mitt, quicker as well as have him take more shots downfield and open things up and scheme things open downfield as opposed to i love cj ham i, I don't love cj ham getting a two-yard dump off on third nine that's it and then th this vikings offense will be cooking with gas but yeah you're, you're telling me right now with a straight face that the saints the saints are gonna have a better offense than the vikings with Jameis winston without Taron armstead please Please, please, please. Oh, oh, yeah, Michael Thomas will be back for the first time in seven years. Great. I know Lave's coming in. Just Oh, oh, Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry, uh, if you play fantasy football, he of the 13 catch for, I don't know, 60-yard type game, which is frustrating if not playing PPR. Although, if you're not playing PPR, what are you doing out here? But uh, So, it, it's... I was initially excited, but now it's a little bit of a backhanded compliment, man, because it's like, oh, yeah, the Vikings are top 10, but they're behind... The stupid Saints. They're behind the Cowboys. The Packers are still up there, even though they don't have Adams. I mean, the Dolphins are up here just because of Tyreek Hill, as well as um, Taron Armstead. Uh, but they still got Tua, man. Oh, uh, Chase Edmonds. Uh, Chase Edmonds. That that that's your that, that's your draw for wild card. Just fantastic. So it, initially, this started out as a, a love piece. Because, like, hey, we're getting uh, some love and respect, and now it turned into a <laughs> hatred piece again. Because, I mean, where would you put the Vikings offense? Respect, I would put it behind the Bengals. I would put it above the Bucks. I think the Bucks might have some trouble on, on the offensive line because of Marpet. 
And also, uh, uh, let's see, Rams. Big Wit's gone. Also, Kevin O'Connell's gone, by the way. Uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs shouldn't miss that big of a step. Uh, take that big of a step back, even though they lost Tyree Kill. But uh, hey, hey, at least they got MVS and Juju. Yeah, that's gonna make up all the difference. Packers again, please, please, please. Uh, so uh, what? I put the Vikings six. That's what it should be. So now, and NFL just made the list again. <laughs> Because, uh, like I said, initially I was hyped to see the Vikings were actually getting some respect in the top 10, but then I saw the teams above them and so I was like, okay, no, not so much. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings, a top 10 offense, question mark, per NFL analytics. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.